the Arctic regions of Siberia and Alaska are largely covered by a layer of soil frozen for several years. This area is known as the permafrost and it holds secrets that have been buried for thousands of years. In recent times, researchers have managed to uncover some unbelievable discoveries from the permafrost that prove the existence of an ice age. Permafrost is a layer of soil, sediment or rock that remains frozen for at least two consecutive years. It is mostly found in regions with extremely cold climates along with high mountain ranges. It is usually formed when the temperature of the ground stays below the freezing point for a prolonged period of time. This allows ice to form, which then binds together the soil particles. Permafrost is a crucial component in the Earth's climate system. It acts as a massive carbon sink that stores vast amount of organic matter frozen for thousands of years. When permafrost begins to thaw, this organic matter is released and decomposed, releasing greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The release of these gases into the atmosphere is what contributes to global warming and climate change. Due to the warming up of the climate, the permafrost of Siberia and Alaska has started to thaw, unveiling fascinating secrets of the Ice Age. One of these secrets is the existence of life, as recently carcasses of animals have been found confirming life during the Ice Age. Let's talk about some of them one by one. 1. Boris the Cave Lion Cub 50,000-year-old carcass in the summer of 2017, local residents of Siberia stumbled upon the well-preserved remains of an animal that looked like a lion cub. The carcass was presented to the scientists who later confirmed that this carcass was over 50,000 years old and belonged to the pride of long extinct cave lions mostly found across Europe and Asia. The cave lion cub was given the name Boris and scientists started studying the cub's DNA physical characteristics and even its diet. The discovery of Boris is significant for a number of reasons. First of all, it represents one of the oldest and most well-preserved carcasses of a cave lion cub ever found, with much of his soft tissue, skin and fur still intact. This would allow scientists to conduct research about the species in ways that they never could before. Moreover, since the carcass was found in the permafrost, it would allow researchers to gather valuable insights about the environment in which they lived during the Pleistocene era. Since Boris's specimen was very well preserved, it would allow scientists to study the diet of cave lions. By analyzing the stomach contents of Boris, scientists could confirm that the animals primarily fed on reindeer. Since they survived the Ice Age, they were highly adaptable to the cold climate. Lastly, by carefully studying Boris the cave lion, we can gain a deeper understanding of our planet's natural history and how life prospered in the past. We can also learn about the evolution of life, the impact of climate change and other environmental factors. 2. Ice Age Wolf Puppy 50,000-year-old carcass In 2018, a team of scientists discovered the carcass of a wolf puppy in the Yakushia region of Siberia. The carcass was said to be 50,000 years old, but despite being this old, it was very well preserved. This carcass of an Ice Age wolf puppy was so well preserved in the permafrost that even its fur, nose and teeth were still intact. This is one of the most significant paleontological finds of recent times as it would have provided an unprecedented opportunity for scientists to study the biology and behavior of this extinct species of wolf. The Ice Age wolf puppy was a unique hybrid of a wolf and a dog. This discovery was based on the DNA analysis of the remains, which revealed that its genome was distinct from both wolves and dogs. This discovery was a breakthrough in the evolutionary history of wolves and dogs, suggesting that the two species may have interbred much earlier than previously thought. The wolf puppy's discovery has also provided great insight into the ecology of the last Ice Age. Along with the remains of the wolf puppy, there were several remains of other prehistoric creatures that suggested the diversity of the Arctic region and how a wide range of predators competed for resources. 3. Sopkaga Mammoth 39,000-year-old carcass Discovered in 2012, the Sopkara Mammoth is another species whose well-preserved specimens were found in the permafrost. The carcass of this woolly mammoth is estimated to be around 39,000 years old and was found with much of its soft tissue, skin and even its fur still intact. 
This would allow for better research and experimentation. The most fascinating aspect of the Sobkaga mammoth is the level of detail that has been preserved in its remains. Due to the well-preserved conditions of the carcass, scientists were able to study its muscles, internal organs and digestive system. This provided scientists with valuable insights into how these creatures functioned. They also managed to analyze the mammoth's DNA, which revealed important details about the evolution of these creatures. Fun fact, the discovery of the Sobkaga mammoth has led to the creation of a local museum dedicated to the study and preservation of mammoth remains. The museum is located in the nearby town of Batagai and has become a popular destination for tourists and scientists. 4. Blue Babe or Steppe Bison – The 36,000-Year-Old Carcass In 1979, a well-preserved Steppe Bison carcass was found in the permafrost of Alaska. Steppe Bison is an extinct species of bison that was found in the Pleistocene era. It was given the nickname Blue Babe due to the bluish tint on the skin which was a result of low temperature and lack of oxygen in the permafrost. Fun fact, Dr. Dale Guthrie, the researcher who discovered Blue Babe, took a chunk of meat from the bison, prepared and ate it to celebrate the victory. 5. Cave Bear – 39,000 year old carcass In 2020, the carcasses of two extinct species of cave bears were discovered in the Yakutia region of Siberia, Russia. These carcasses were approximately 39,000 years old but were still well preserved with intact skulls, teeth and soft tissues. These cave bears lived during the Pleistocene era, around 300,000 to 15,000 years ago. The discovery of these cave bear carcasses has allowed scientists to deeply study these prehistoric creatures. Scientists carefully examined the remains of these cave bears to reveal important insights into their diet, habitat and physical characteristics. For example, the structure of their mouth and teeth revealed that the bears were herbivorous and primarily consumed tough fibrous plant material. The interesting thing about these cave bears is that these species of bear were the largest to ever live. The male cave bear could easily weigh over 1,100 pounds. 6. The Yucca Mammoth 39,000 year old carcass The Yucca Mammoth is a 39,000 year old frozen carcass of a woolly mammoth that was found in the year 2010 from the Siberian permafrost. The carcass was located by a team of Russian and Japanese scientists while conducting a joint research expedition in the remote Yamal Ninets region of Siberia. The Yucca Mammoth is the best preserved woolly mammoth to be ever found. This well-preserved carcass can allow scientists to conduct experiments with higher accuracy rates. An interesting thing about the Yucca Mammoth is that there are traces of previously unknown species of bacteria on the carcass. There's a high possibility that these bacteria might have contributed to the animal's death. The bacteria is called Yersinia pestis strain B, and it is a distant relative to the bacterium that causes the bubonic plague in humans. 7. Colima woolly rhinoceros 39,000 year old carcass The 39 year old carcass of the Colima woolly rhinoceros was discovered in the year 2014 from the permafrost of Yakutia, Siberia. The carcass of the Colima woolly rhinoceros is said to be the best preserved carcass of the animal to date. The rhinoceros lived during the last ice age and was among the largest animals of its time with a total weight of over 3,500 kilograms. The organs and skin of the rhinoceros were still intact, which is why scientists were able to extract some details about the animal, one of which is the rhinoceros was a herbivore. The unique thing about the Kalima woolly rhinoceros is that their horns are not made from bones like regular rhinoceros. Instead, they were made from a protein called keratin, which mostly makes up our hair. 8. Siberian Horse Foal 40,000 years old carcass the 40,000 years old carcass of the Siberian horse foal was discovered in the permafrost of Siberia, Russia in the year 2018. The carcass was very well preserved and included soft tissues, hair and even the horse's organs. The group of tusk hunters found the carcass of the Siberian horse foal and sent it over to the scientists. After carefully examining the carcass, scientists confirmed that the horse belonged to the Pleistocene era where the climate of Siberia was much colder and drier than today. Scientists also revealed the horse had a thick, shaggy coat of fur to help insulate it against the cold. 
the foal was significantly smaller than modern horses, which is most likely an adaptation to limited food resources in the harsh environment. 9. Lyuba, the woolly mammoth calf, 41,800 years old carcass. In 2007, a Siberian reindeer herder, Yuri Kuri, discovered the carcass of a woolly mammoth calf in the Yamal Peninsula in Siberia, Russia. The calf was given the name Liuba, and after analyzing the carcass, scientists could confirm that it is approximately 41,800 years old. According to the scientists, the calf might have been only a month old when it died and became trapped in the mud. The Liuba's carcass was well preserved because of being trapped in the mud for several years. Its fur and internal organs were very much intact, which allowed scientists to study the animal in detail. Lyuba weighed approximately 50 kilograms, was 85 centimeters high, and measured 130 centimeters from trunk to tail, roughly the same size as a large dog. The name Lyuba means love in Russia. This name was given by the reindeer herder to the woolly mammoth calf who first discovered her and immediately felt a sense of affection and admiration for the ancient creature. 10. Sparta, the cave lion cub, 26,000 years old carcass. Sparta is another cave lion cub that was discovered from the permafrost of Siberia. The female cave lion cub was found in 2018 in the Abyski district of Yakutia, Siberia. Sparta and Boris were found a few months apart, which is why many started believing that the two were related. However, after analyzing Sparta's carcass, it was found that the carcass was 26,000 years old, which is approximately 15,000 years younger than Boris's. Scientists believe that Sparta might have died due to suffocation after falling into a crevice or cave when it was only a few weeks old. Fun fact, Sparta was named after the Greek city of Sparta which was known for its military prowess and fierce warriors. The name also reflects the cub's tough and resilient nature as it survived for thousands of years in the frozen ground before being discovered by scientists. The carcass was well preserved with soft tissue, skin and fur still intact. 11. Abyski woolly rhinoceros, 20,000 years old carcass. Abyski woolly rhinoceros is another prehistoric animal whose 20,000-year-old carcass was discovered in 2014 in the Abyski district of Yakutia, Siberia. The rhinoceros was a large herbivore mammal that lived during the last ice age and became extinct around 14,000 years ago. It was one of the largest land mammals of its time, with a height of up to 2 meters and a weight of up to 3,500 kg. It had a thick coat of fur, up to 60 centimeters long, that protected it from the cold. Abyski's ears were small which reduced heat loss and the nostrils were surrounded by fur to warm the air it breathed. Since it was a herbivore, it mostly ate grass and other veggies. The unique characteristic of the Abyski woolly rhinoceros is that it had two horns, the larger horn located on its nose and the smaller horn located behind it. Just like Kalima, its horns were also made from keratin instead of bones. 12. The Eukagia Mammoth 22,500 years old carcass. The Eukagia mammoth is another well-preserved carcass of a woolly mammoth from the Siberian permafrost. It was first discovered in 2002 and is said to be about 22,500 years old. Since the remains of the mammoth were in such good condition, scientists were able to uncover some of its characteristics. First of all, the mammoth was a herbivore that survived on a variety of plants including grasses, sedges and shrubs. It also had two curved tusks that could grow up to 4 meters in length. The Yukagia mammoth was genetically unique from other mammoths, which is why it had a reddish brown coat instead of a typical dark brown or black color of most woolly mammoths. This mutation is thought to be rare and may have contributed to the mammoth's ability to survive in the harsh Arctic environment. 13. Dogor Ice Age Canid 18,000 years old carcasses The name Dogor Ice Canid was given to two 18,000 year old carcasses of a prehistoric canid discovered in the year 2019 in the Yakutia region of Siberia, Russia. A team of Swedish scientists discovered Dogor and hailed it as significant due to its well-preserved condition. Dogor is said to be either a prehistoric wolf or a dog, 
The exact species cannot be determined as of now. They have extracted DNA samples from the carcass and are hoping to learn more about the animal's genetics and its relationship to modern dogs and wolves. The discovery of Dogor is significant because it could help enlighten us about domesticated dogs and their relationships with wolves. Fun fact, Dogor means friend in the Yakut language and the name was chosen by the scientists who discovered the puppy as a tribute to the local people who helped them with their research. 14. The Ukagia Bison 9,300 years old carcass The Ukagia Bison is another well-preserved steppe bison carcass discovered in Yakutia region of Siberia, Russia. It is 93,000 years old and was located in the year 2011. The Yakagia Bison is believed to be a large and powerful herbivore weighing around 1,000 kilograms which was 6 to 7 years old when it died. The carcass of the Ukagia bison would help scientists in understanding the reasons why large herbivores became extinct during the late Pleistocene. An interesting fact about Ukagia bison is that its discovery inspired a team of Russian scientists to try to bring the species back to life using cloning technology. The team is attempting to clone the Ukagia bison by extracting its DNA from the carcass and is attempting to sequence its genome in order to identify the genetic mutations that distinguish it from modern bison. 15. Sakar Mammoth 10,000 years old carcass The Sakar Mammoth or Malilayakovsky Mammoth is a 10,000 year old carcass of a woolly mammoth discovered in 2013 in the Sakar Republic of Russia. The Sakar Mammoth belonged to a species of prehistoric elephants that was adapted to the colder climates of the Pleistocene Epoch. To withstand the cold, the mammoth had long shaggy fur, thick layers of fat and small ears. It is one of the youngest mammoth carcasses ever discovered and it is remarkably well preserved with its internal organs and even some of its blood vessels still intact. The interesting thing about this mammoth is that it had a large number of butterfly-shaped bones in its nasal cavity called conchi. This helped in warming the cold air the animal breathed in. 16. Sasha, the baby woolly rhinoceros, 10,000 years old carcass. In 2014, the 10,000 year old carcass of baby woolly rhinoceros named Sasha was discovered in the Yakutia region of Russia. Sasha was a young woolly rhinoceros belonging to a prehistoric species of rhinoceros who adapted to cold climates. It had long shaggy fur and two massive horns on its nose. Sasha was estimated to be between one and a half and two months old at the time of its death. The well-preserved carcass of Sasha provided scientists with valuable insights and using these insights, they analyzed that Sasha likely died from drowning in a mud pit a common hazard for animals living in the tundra. Sasha provided researchers the breakthrough they needed to study the genetics of woolly rhinoceros as it gave the first ever DNA sample from a woolly rhinoceros. This DNA allowed scientists to study the genetics of this extinct species as well as to compare it to the DNA of modern-day rhinoceros. 17. Pleistocene Puppy 12,400 years old carcass in 2016, a Pleistocene canid was found frozen for 12,400 years in the Saka Republic of Russia. The carcass and puppy were relatively young with an exceptionally well-preserved brain. Researchers performed a necroscopy on the remains which concluded that the brain was almost 80% intact. The animal was probably a dog, however, research is being conducted to further establish that. The study of the Pleistocene puppy is significant because it can provide new insights into the domestication and evolution of dogs. Due to the well-preserved remains, scientists are studying the puppy's DNA to understand how dogs became domesticated and how they spread across the world. The puppy also unearthed bones of animals with traces of butchering and fire, leading to the theory that these puppies could have been ancient pets. However, more work is being done to establish this.